Hi everybody, I wanted to take a few minutes and just show you what you can do with the growth monitoring results or how to help you with an individual student, especially those tier three or tier two students. Um, so here we go. I know we've been doing them every month um, other than the how to get them. It's now what do we do with them? So uh, again, thank you, Julie Strong, for letting me use your information. Um, we're going to go right ahead and we're going to switch to math from your dashboard. Okay. We're going to go to reports. We're going to choose student this time. So when you do student, you have all of these options that you can get for just the individual student. Um, this is obviously our big diagnostic. Here's the growth, so it should show you between diagnostics. But what we want to do is growth monitoring results. So these are the students, again, that are on tier two and tier three because they've been doing the growth monitoring assessment. All right, so we'll go to math. Okay. And we're going to select the student. And what we see here, again, is we have diagnostic one, and then typical growth on this case would be likely, somewhat likely, or somewhat, somewhat likely for all the typical growth, stretch growth, or mid or above. So in this case, I chose somebody who was not um, on a tier three or tier two. Let me see if I can find somebody who Okay, here we go. So for math, um, this student here, if I go individually, um, based off of the diagnostic one and the projected score of where they are for supporting data. So if you go and hit here for supporting data, we have diagnostic, a growth monitoring, a second diagnostic, and a second growth monitoring, as you should. So we've got four different data points to support what this is saying in this information up here. Okay, so the typical growth, they're likely to hit it. The stretch growth, they're likely to hit it, uh, but they're somewhat unlikely to maybe uh, get to where they need to be for mid or uh, late or above grade level. Okay, so they're going to hit that stretch growth at, for where they were at the beginning of the year, but they won't quite be on grade level. That's what the on or above grade level means. So when they leave this grade level at the end of this year, based on what they're doing, okay, they're still going to be a little bit behind next year. All right. So this is basically, again, based off of these four data points set up. Okay. So the March one hasn't been finished yet at this point. So you'll have a fifth data point that could help us here. So if the fifth data point says that they might actually hit there, like maybe they go up, then that could change from somewhat unlikely to somewhat likely. Okay, so you have a likely, a somewhat likely, and a somewhat unlikely kind of to guide you on where to go for these kids. Um, and so that's where this is. Keep in mind your standard error, okay? Your diagnostics, because they're longer, are plus or minus six points versus your growth monitoring, which is plus or minus 12. Okay, so the good news is this kiddo is still growing. And that is great. So based on where they were at the beginning of the year in math, uh, they're, they're likely to keep moving forward to the point where they won't be as far behind. Um, as usual, you can go ahead and do a PDF. So if this is something that you want to go over with a, with a parent, um, or if you're keeping track of your tier three and tier th two students, um, you can print this out so that you can have um, what are known as like data chats or little co like comments with them about what they're doing in their progress and, and giving them you know accolades and things that are really good to celebrate is you're doing awesome in math even though it may not feel like it even though you may feel like you're kind of slowly getting there you are getting there and this is a good thing to have as a conversation with them um, again easy to switch between math and reading while you're still talking to the same student um, where you can see this big difference with reading likely likely somewhat unlikely again okay so supporting data but look at right here the on grade level is in the in the green and look how far behind they were okay so again you have diagnostic growth monitoring diagnostic growth monitoring okay so there should be another growth monitoring happening for march uh, for this student as long as they're tier one, three or tier two so you'll have that fifth um, data point to have that conversation or to look forward to what can they do for next year um, is there anything that maybe I want to put in uh, for the next year's teacher to help out with their reading or with their math? Um, since right now they're in grade two, what do they need to be successful for grade three? 
So I hope this helps um, with, we've got growth monitoring. I can see where they get percentages, but like, I need to know what to do for this individual student. Like, where are they? Like, where is their progress? Like, are they gonna hit their typical growth or not? Okay, so this is where they are to give you that information based off of the iReady scores. I hope that helps. Uh, please feel free to contact me if you have any more questions. Have a great day.